Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I am hopping on today to do an unboxing. Um, I have been waiting patiently for this um, for many weeks now. I'm so excited it's here. Uh, I ordered, placed an order through Erin at Crafty Housewife Yarns. She is a Spinolution dealer, and I ordered um, a Monarch Spinolution spinning wheel. <clears throat> so let's get to the unboxing. Um, this actually came, so it was supposed to be here Thursday, and then it was delayed again. And so it came yesterday um, when I was at work, and I had, it's been a busy week here. We've had a, um, we're foster parents, so we had a high schooler in with us um, this week helping out friends for respite care so she's been here with us and I have been doing all the high school stuff again um, our kids are all grown <clears throat> so it has been a week and then yesterday was a crazy day at work and I didn't get home until three hours later than what I normally do so I patiently I got home last night um, this was in the garage because it's the weather's been nasty here in Michigan. Um, so hubby watched for it and he pulled it into the garage when it got here. And so this, I got home last night from work and it, there it sat on my freezer. And I told him, I said, I'm not touching it tonight because I'm so tired. Um, and we had plans with, with the foster child. So um, I said, I'm just going to leave it in there and patiently wait until tomorrow morning because I knew I wanted to do an unboxing to show you how these come and what they look like. And I haven't even um, looked into how it gets put together. I don't know if I need tools. I have no idea. So we are in this together this morning. I'm going to open up the box, see where we're at. If I have to go get tools, I will pause this and then come back on. Um, again, it has been, so the only, I'm sure, the only um, downside of, of this right now was the wait time. So I will forewarn you, and you know what, <clears throat> we're all in this right now. Um, everyone is having to wait for something, and I don't know that that's a bad thing. That might be a lesson for us all to learn that we we need some patience and the uh, two-day shipping mentality that we've gotten used to might not might not be happening all the time now and so I ordered this um, in the end of August so it has taken and it was the very end it was like August 27th so it's probably taken six weeks to get to me but <clears throat> the other thing I like about this is that it is made in the USA it is out of California, which might be another issue. I know if I know here in Michigan we're having issues getting workers. I know that's a problem. I'm pretty sure California is in the same place that we are right now. Um, and I know that getting workers to be able to come in is an issue. Um, and some of the other things going on in this world are an issue. So this is made in the USA, which I love. Um, I have been an Ashford girl for over 15 years, and I love my Ashford spinning wheels, but they are made in New Zealand. So, um, anything made in the USA right now, I think is important for us to support. So, without further ado, let's see if I can unbox this. And it is heavy. <laughs> I drug it out of the garage this morning, and I picked it up. And thought, ooh, and it says, do not drop all over it. So I made it in here without dropping it. I can get there. And I haven't even, like I said, I haven't looked to see what takes to put one of these together. I, I remember getting my Ashford. There's that Made in USA sticker. Um, getting my Ashford years ago, I, it took me all, not all night, but it took me several hours to put it together. Um, and it might be that I just pull everything out 
and show you. Um, so I ended up getting, I think it's called a studio package is what I got. So I have the basic wheel um, with an eight ounce flyer and then I got, I upgraded, so I can do eight ounce and 16 ounce, I believe. Um, and then I got extra bobbins. So I got eight ounce, I got six bobbins all together. I got three eight ounce and three six ounce, or 16 ounce, sorry. Um, bobbins. So, and I think, yeah, so I, I did get the package. Um, mine comes with the Lazy Kate, um, a yarn winder with peg, extra drive band, a wheel kit, and all the things that I need. That is the one thing that drew me to the Spinolution is the uh, large bobbins that I can get. So I have um, on my Ashford Traveler, I have two ounce bobbins. Um, and on my, I have my Ashford Kiwi here, and I think these are three or four ounce bobbins. So these are the bigger ones. These are, these are my Traveler ones. So you can see the difference even in those. Um, so I'm pretty sure, I think this is the two and this is the four ounce bobbin. So I got an 8 and a 16 ounce, which I am extremely excited about because you guys know how I love to stuff my bobbins full of yarn. Um, and yeah, this is going to be a put together, um, put together thing that we're going to do. So let's go through each piece and then I'm going to, I'll shut down. This will be my unboxing video and then I'll do a second video um, let you know how how hard it was or how easy it was to put together and I'll show you some spinning on it so we have okay, so I know this is the and it's I think this is the magnetic piece this is the 16 ounce one they're all marked um, and I'm not certain I think this might be the Orphus bar, but I'm not sure on that. Again, I have not looked into um, the details of parts and pieces because they are very different than traditional wheels to some degree. So where this is my Ashford Kiwi, where this is the flyer head and everything, the bobbin. Um, this on the Spinolution, so this is the Orphis, hopefully you can see it. Yeah, this is the Orphis of my Kiwi and my Travelers, just like this. This is the part that goes here. So that's what's really cool. Um, I like putting beads and things sometimes with my yarn. I like spinning beads and bubbles and things. And so that was one of the reasons I was really excited because this has a very large Orphis. So there's that piece. I get rid of my knife. Hmm, I did. Let's see if we can just get through this. And it is well, it's bubble wrapped to the hilt, so I wouldn't expect any problems in shipping. Um, and it's got what do they call this foam stuff wrapped around these pieces. I think this is going to be part of the petals, if I'm correct. So, um, nope, nope, sorry, this is the Lazy Kate. So, that's right, I saw Erin show how this worked. This one can be sat on the floor, and then I have pins that go here. Um, this one can be either sat on the floor or attached to the wheel. And I will, again, I will get to all of this. Um, this is all new for me, too. On my Ashfords, let's see if I can get this to show you. The Ashford difference would be, um, and mine are about the same. They are different wheels. So the Lazy Kate are right here at the base. So on the Spinolution Monarch, this one can be on it or separate because it does have feet. This is the flyer head. Wow, that's 
beautiful. And I know, let's see if you can see, there is, I think they call that the golden whirl right there. And that makes it smooth. It's so smooth. That's what I'm looking forward to too. Not that my Ashfords um, are not smooth, but this one, um, I've seen them work only, I have not seen one in person. Um, I have not been anywhere. I actually haven't been to any fiber festivals. All of ours were canceled and they've all changed. Um, and it's been a crazy year this year, so I haven't been to any shows or anything at all this year. So I've never actually seen one of these in person, um, but I have watched plenty of videos with them on. And of course, Willow is at the door. You can hear her trying to get in to see me. Okay, so here is, this is going to be the 8 ounce, 16 ounce orifice and the 8 ounce orifice. And these are, these are magnetic. Um, so, those hook right on. Hmm, have to look, this is something, yeah, I'm going to have to look at all of this to make sure I'm saying that right. Because it is different. Um, because I just realized that, um... The, actually, the, the Spinolutions do not have the orifice wheel, or the holes like the Ashfords do. We talked about the Ashford having the hole here. They actually just have a hook, um, and the hook takes it and feeds it through to get it on your bobbin. So, that's that. And it looks like everything is kind of, they have these, um, screws already here. So it looks like a lot of this stuff is going to be easy to put together. Um, and a lot of this is just going to end up being my bobbins. And I won't open all of these because I have six. I have uh, three eight and three sixteen. That's more at the bottom. And this is the 16 ounce head and remember I bought this in the package so it comes with more than just the uh, regular package that you would buy so I got wow <laughs> this is amazing so there is my 16 ounce um, and I'll show you the difference and these are heavy I can smell the wood I love it the smell of wood. So those are the difference between those. And they actually offer, I think they go up to, they go up to 32 ounces um, on their bobbins. That would be used for, this is considered a production wheel, which I wanted. I do a lot of spinning. Um, the 32 ounces and the, probably even the 16, you're going to do a lot of art yarns with that or big bulky amounts. That's another 8 ounce bobbin. I won't deal with that right now. Um, I'm not certain. And again, everything is wrapped really nice and well, well put together in safe. It looks like in the box. And I honestly have no idea what this is. So <laughs> once I get it put together, it's a part. Pretty sure it's part of the wheel. So once I get to get it put together, I will be able to go through and tell you which each of these are. No, let me see. Um, I think it's part of the wheel kit itself. So, okay, and this is the 16 ounce bobbins. So we have three eights and three sixteens which I am extremely excited about because I can load those babies up pretty fast. Another box, this has the dry band in it, um, more pieces and parts. So there are two bags of stuff. Ooh, she is so pretty. All right. <clears throat> this is the heavy part of... And I think 
This is a base. Yeah, this sits somewhere on the floor because it has rubber um, knobs on it. you can hear me through all this crinkling. I might have to save all this bubble wrap for my grandkids next weekend when they come up because they will enjoy it. <laughs> um, I think, I'm guessing, and there's not going to be a whole lot of putting together, I don't think, now that I'm seeing this. So these are, um, looks like they're going to come together at some point like this because these both have the feet on them. And without further ado, we are gonna pull out, wow. All right, first I wanna show you, look at the beautiful etching. You guys, this is just a beautiful wheel. Um, this is not a travel wheel. I mean, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, I don't travel with my wheel a whole lot anymore. I used to do um, more lessons and things like that where I take my wheels with me. I will be keeping my Ashfords, both of them right now, um, because I do give classes sometimes and lessons here at the house, and I do have an opportunity to possibly do that at one of our local art galleries here, or art um, shops, and so I will, and my camera shut down. So I think I was in the middle of saying um, I will be keeping both of my um, Ashford Kiwi and my Traveler to take if I do classes and things like that, which I'm hoping to get more into. I've done one this year, I've done a couple this year. Um, so, and I've done library programs before where I've taken my wheels. Would I take this to a library program? Probably. Um, it's not, we have big vehicles anyway, so space isn't an issue. I could just see where this is quite heavy. Um, it's lovely. It has cardboard in it, so that's what you're hearing. So, that is where we're at. Um, again, well packaged. I'm going to have to do some research to see how this is all put together. But I am extremely excited. Um, yeah, I will. Um, I'm going to close out here and um, get this video up and running either through my YouTube channel or Crafty Housewife Yards, I'm not sure which yet, but you will see it at some point. And then I'm gonna do a second um, video, possibly I'm putting it together, I wanna go through the instructions first. Um, I am not good at reading directions, I like to just start putting things together sometimes, which gets me in trouble, and I wanna make sure that I don't do that with this. So, um, I will get it either on video put together or putting it together on video, and then we'll do some spinning, hopefully yet today. So thanks for joining me this morning. I hope you have a fantastic day today and go out and create something. Thanks guys, bye. Okay guys, I'm back. I decided I'm just gonna add this part of the video to the end of my unboxing video and make it all in one. So this will be an unboxing and assembly. Um, I got on the Spinolution website. Um, there weren't instructions in my um, box, which I think is pretty typical these days because everything's online. And I did find the user guide right on the front page of their site. So I got on there and found, um, I think what I'm finding, again, Spinolution is new to me. I think these used to be Mach 3s and those were discontinued and then the Monarchs came out of that. And so um, in the user guide, it does give you the Monarch instructions and it basically says 10 minutes is all it takes. Um, I had my doubts because I remember putting together my Ashford many years ago and it was ours. But I came in back in here after reading that um, and found the pieces and I do think it's going to be about 10 minutes. I did watch a video um, on a different site that went through the unboxing and the um, putting together and it was a I think he put together an echo but they're basically the same 
So I have what I thought were the feet with the rubber stoppers on the bottom. They have an etched part of the wood out. Those are your legs. And essentially, all you are gonna do is, hopefully, slide. And you can see the screw holes. You just slide these in. Oops, that's why I got a screw underneath there. And in the red bags, there are the four screws. And you take it and find, you get one in, and then I'm going to shift this and do the other side. I don't, they said don't start putting the screws in um, until you have the, it set in place and all of them out, which I think we are now. So I just slid them in and then you just take a Phillips head. And hopefully you probably can't see this part, but again, take a Phillips head and you're gonna tighten the screws. There's two on each side. And I'm not gonna go through all of this, but that's all you do is, um, so essentially it ends up looking like this. And I'm gonna put two screws here, two screws on the other side. The drive band is in that package also. And I was kind of, because the um, one he showed is a little bit different, so I was trying to figure out how he, you have to get the drive band here on the wheel. First though, let me put, what I love about this, um, I do have the Ashford Traveler um, bigger drive band, but it is not an easy switch out um, in my mind. So I like that this is essentially in the, these black, I'm not sure what these are called, screw things are already on both of the um, wheel parts here. You just slide that in. So this is my eight ounce bobbin. Slide it in here. And this does have wheels. And let's see, where did, oh, here. Put that in and screw it tight. That's how you it, um, can exchange the any of your 16, 18, whatever you get. You just have to unscrew this and lift it out and put the other one back in. So that's super nice and easy compared to others that I have used. Um, and then to put the drive band on, you've got the whirl here. Um, you take out, there's a pin right there. You just pop it out and put your drive band in. You gotta kind of play with it here. And actually I wanna go this way first. Put it on my whirl. And then it just kind of stretches over the wheel. And make sure it's all even. And that's it. And then you put your, your thing back here. And that is it guys. I am amazed. And then there is, um, uh, he did, so before I go too far, before he put this on, he did check and I'll go back and redo this, but he said, make sure in shipping, sometimes this gets a little bit dislodged because it's just being held here. Um, make sure that you have an even keel on your wheels. And actually, mine looks pretty good from looking at the camera there. Um, I will go back and check it before I do or finish out everything. But that is literally all it is. And this is ready to spin. So I'm going to finish putting the feet um, screws in on each side. And double check that this is um, even on the base here. And then I am gonna go do some spinning on this beautiful Saturday. So I hope this video was helpful. I will put links below for 
um, Spin Illusion and for Erin at Crafty Housewife Yarns, who is a dealer. And um, I will be doing some more videos very soon of spinning on this. I can't wait. Um, I have talked about before how I am not, I am not a ratios girl. Um, I spin by feel and what my yarn looks like. And if I have to change anything on my wheels, I just, I instinctively know how to do that. But um, with this, you can do a lot with the spin illusion wheels in regards to ratios and spinning and things like that. So I may have to do a little bit of research on how to have that um, right and do it correctly. So that might be my, uh, my lesson for the week. So again, I hope you have a fantastic day and I know I will. And um, if you like this video, uh, click the like button, button down below and subscribe to my channel. Um, I would appreciate that. And you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook as Tailspin Farm. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks. Bye.